Dear students, in this module, we are going to discuss nature, environment, and society and their interrelationship. The intricate relationship between nature, environment, and society is a key area of focus in environmental sociology, investigating how societal structures, norms, and cultural aspects influence and are influenced by our interaction with this natural environment. So these are interrelated because we cannot say that nature and environment has no relationship with the society or vice versa. So in the societal context, nature is not merely an external entity, but a significant social construct with various interpretations and meanings attached to it. So this perspective helps us understand the ways societies per perceive values and interact with the nature is heavily influenced by the social structures and cultural values. So, when we talk nature, ki baat karte hai, environment, ki baat karte hai, aur society ka iske connection with the environment, then we probably see that nature is something omnipotent and something that has little to do with the social constructs or with the human beings interference isi tarah se jab hum environment ko dekhte hain to hame ye mehsoos hota hai ki shayad bahut se aise natural processes hain jinke nateeje mein jo hai wo environment ya climatic changes jo hain wo occur hoti hain jabki haqeeqat mein aisa nahi hai isko agar hum sociological point of view se dekhein to hame teenon ka ek bada gehra taluq nazar aata hai ki jis tarah se नेचर जो है नेचुरल प्रोसेसेस के जरिए एनवायरनमेंट के अंदर रोल प्ले करती है बिल्कुल उसी तरह से सोसाइटी जो है वो डिफरेंट ह्यूमन बिहेवियर्स और इंटरेक्शनल प्रोसेसेस के नतीजे में जो है एनवायरनमेंट के ऊपर भी इफेक्ट करती है द एनवायरनमेंट अ टर्म ऑफ्टन यूज इंटरचेंजेबली विद द नेचर इज द स्पेस वेयर द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ नेचुरल वर्ल्ड एंड ह्यूमन सोसाइटी अकर्स सो इट्स द फील्ड ऑफ इंटरप्ले बिटवीन human activities natural system where each affects and modifies the other similarly these environmental problems are social problem they are not something that is merely constructed by the natural processes there are a lot of problems which are part of the human society so they stem from the societal practices and must be addressed through social solutions for example pollution in our larger cities is the direct result of industrialization heavy use of private vehicles and urban waste management which are the socially constructed phenomena it's not something that with which this earth was born ye jitni bhi hame aaj masail nazar aa rahe hain khaas taur pe environment se related masail jo hain iske andar bahut zyada role jo hai wo human intervention ka hai मिसाल के तौर पे इंसान ने जब तरक्की करना शुरू की इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन हुई तो उस इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन के कुछ कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस या आप कह लें कि नेगेटिव कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस जो हैं वो एनवायरनमेंट पे भी बरामद हुए तो आज हम देख रहे हैं कि हमारे इर्द गिर्द जो है सॉलिड वेस्ट के बहुत ज़्यादा मसाइल हैं एनवायरमेंटल पोल्यूशन के बहुत ज़्यादा मसाइल हैं वाटर के बहुत ज़्यादा मसाइल हैं ख़ास तौर पर हमें पोर्टेबल वाटर जो है वो आज बड़ा स्केर स्केरसली अवेलेबल है तो इस तरह के जितने भी मसाइल हैं इन सब के अंदर ह्यूमन इंटरवेंशन का एक सिग्निफिकेंट रोल है सो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इकोलॉजिकल फुटप्रिंट व्हिच मयर्स हाउ मच ऑफ द नेचर्स रिसोर्सेज एन इंडिविजुअल कम्युनिटी और सोसाइटी कंज्यूम्स कैन ऑफर एन इफेक्टिव थ्योरेटिकल फ्रेमवर्क फॉर सोशोलॉजिकल एनालिसिस ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट फॉर इंस्टेंस सिटीज लाइक कराची एंड लाहौर due to their large populations and consumption patterns have substantial ecological footprints impacting the global environment at the same time we can see that the environmental justice framework is also important in highlighting that the environmental burdens and benefits are often evenly or unevenly distributed along with the lines of social economic and political power for example 
marginalized communities in Pakistan often bear the brunt of the environmental degradation, such as those living near the landfill sites or the areas with the poor water and air quality. So, we have that all these things are environment se related to different societies ke andar, wo unevenly distributed. It is not that the environment or the natural uh, calamities or natural processes is not that the society or the society ke har segment ko jo hai, equally affect kar rahe hain iske andar bahut sara role jo hai wo human behavior ka hai intervention ka hai policies ka hai to is wajah se hame ye nazar aata hai ki yahan pe bhi ek unequal distribution hai us unequal distribution ke nateeje mein hame bahut si cheeze hamare samne hai misal ke taur pe hum dekh rahe hain ki pakistan ke andar bahut se aise areas jo ke uh, environmentally substandard areas consider hote hain wahan pe zyada tar jo hai wo poor populations exist karti hain so it's a very interesting aspect to see that how even environment or environmental problems are also unequally distributed so then the phenomenon of climate change and its societal implications is vital concern the vulnerability of pakistan's agrarian communities to change the rainfall patterns and increasing temperatures provides an illustrative example of how environmental changes have deep societal impacts affecting their livelihoods and sparkling migration. Lastly, the sociological lens aids in recognizing that sustainable environment policies can only be crafted when the interplay of social structures, attitudes, and behaviors with the natural environment are well understood. Effective solutions lie in reshaping our societal norms and behaviors, which in turn reshape our relationship with the environment.